I've been a chef for over 18 years and I've dedicated my life to perfecting my craft and passion. And craftsmanship is what sets the Monogram Pizza oven apart. Dedication to elevated, thoughtful touches in every aspect. Poisson dans l'eau, c'est mon élément, c'est là où je me sens vraiment à l'aise. C'est vraiment un plaisir dans une cuisine quand vous vous sentez si bien. So I was really excited to meet the George Brown students today. They are the ones who are going to compete for the Nespresso Café Gaumont. And sharing my passion with them was something that I really enjoyed. <laughs> I'm not going to be here at the semi-final, but I'll be here at the final, and I'm really, really looking forward to see what you guys produce. I'm not expecting something easy. Um, I want them to challenge themselves, first of all, and I want to be impressed. When we judge, we want to see something that's out of the box. I will take your Café Gourmand, um, and I will serve it at a restaurant. Oh, it would be amazing to have my dessert in Laval, like. It would be a huge honor. We should be eating raw as long as it's fresh. Local butcher, Ontario beef is great, so you'll be absolutely safe. So you're a local butcher or fishmonger, and then that's how you find out it's great A quality freshest. and it's super fresh. So I got very lucky to be uh, picked by Nespresso uh, two and a half years ago now, and to be their ambassador. And uh, a couple of months after, actually, Monogram uh, reached out to me and uh, interviewed me to be their chef ambassador as well. It was really a huge surprise and kind of a, a turn in my career as well. Um, when you go from being in the kitchen every day to be more, you know, in front of the cameras and with exchanging with people, and it's kind of a different, different job, uh, but something that I really enjoy and really thrive. It's. It's exciting, um, you know, it's something that I didn't know I was capable of or I would like it one day, like 10 years ago. But nowadays, like having a mix of the everyday cooking and the passion mixed with being able to really, the way I see it is, is like being an ambassador of my job and, and my passion and my craft, not just of Monogram or not just of Nespresso, it's like be able to expose what we do and shine a light on, on the industry. Um, so it's, it's an honor and a an blessing and then every opportunity that I have every day. I'm, I'm Chef Romain Avril from Chez Laval is here to help. We're going to elevate the holiday eats. Also, I was thinking you're doing something different if you have a smaller stove, which a lot of people have rather a smaller oven. They can't cook a big turkey or they don't want to have a big turkey. There's only one or two people. Well, that's the idea. A, you might not have, you know, 10 people showing up to, yeah. your, um, to your Thanksgiving dinner. You might not have the space. But you want a nice protein. And you might not have the time. Okay. So, so instead, you are suggesting? Well, the idea is to kind of like prepare in advance, you know what I mean? Um, have everything ready beforehand, so you got time to get ready oh, to good. enjoy Thanksgiving. And now rushing in the kitchen all morning, looking at turkey. Half the time it's dry. Yeah. This time, it won't be dry. Okay. First thing we're going to do, the first thing you need to do is make sure your dough is nicely risen. So the crust is probably the most important thing when you make a pizza. So you want to make sure you always have an edge. So what we're going to do is kind of like pushing the pizza in the center and always make sure that we keep that beautiful edge. It's beautiful. And then we're going to start garnishing the pizza. The finest chefs share a relentless attention to detail and a passion for craftsmanship. For them, the quality of the appliances they use are just as important as the quality of the ingredients they select. That's why chefs always choose Monogram. Featuring precision cooking technology and sophisticated styling, it's the brand inspired by artisans and preferred by professionals. I've always been cooking since I was a child. I worked at a lot of restaurants, but definitely the Michelin star restaurant has always been the one that I feel like it's home. To be a great cook, you really have to have lots of patience. Some dishes can take up to three, four days. When I'm cooking, I'm not thinking about eating, which is the funny thing. You just focus on what you're doing. But the second I leave the restaurant, this is where my craving starts. Chocolates and cakes are definitely probably the most intense of my cravings. And when I want it, I want it now. I can have some really fancy dinner, and then I can just stop at a corner store and pick up a chocolate bar full of sugar.